This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. All right. Well, it appears that Offset is suing quality control. There's also rumors that the Migos have broken up. And I guess they don't follow each other, Offset and then Quavo and take off anymore. Now, Offset posted on Twitter, this new chapter for me is personal. And... Uh, P from Quality Control said the last lawsuit was filed publicly and dismissed quietly. Let's see how this one go. Been too real for all this lame-ish. Everyone know the real problem. And Offset said, N-words act like I'm the problem. I paid millions to get my rights back. You blackballed me. I ain't said ish one time. Homie, I ain't spoke to you in two years. Now I drop and you want your name on my credit? And then that's when uh, P from Quality Control let people know the show must go on. Here he is with Lil Baby. Hey, baby, yep. you see what they say on the back? Read what they say on the back. Show must go on. <laughs> Show must go on. All right, now, P also went on Twitter and said, new single, Lakia, dropped tomorrow night, back to business. Docufilm Lil Baby dropped Friday in 150 countries. New Lil Baby album on the way. New Quavo takeoff album on the way, back to business. New Ice Wear Vezo, DJ Drama, Gangsta Grills edition on the way. Uh, he went on and on to talk about what else he has and said, back to business. No time for distractions. Now, Cardi B weighed in and said Offset bought himself out of his uh, QC deal after they didn't want to renegotiate his contract. I'm tired of people trying to make Offset look like the bad guy. Enough is enough. Yeah, I mean, that's all interesting because, you know, if there's one thing we know about QC, they really ride for their artists. You know, P and Coach really care about their artists. But business is business, so I have no idea who's right and wrong in this situation. I just hope that, you know, those brothers resolve it. Cause Sounds like something for I the love lawyers. Them together. Because I don't know if he, you know, if he did buy himself out of his contract and had his lo- lawyers negotiate that, then he'll be in the right. And if he didn't, yeah. then he won't. So it's really it could, something that social media is not going to help you. It's the lawyers. Yeah, no. It could have been anything. He could have bought himself out the contract, but for the la- for the next two albums, they get a, a percentage or something like that. It could be anything. But like Charlamagne said, I just hope, I hope them brothers uh, work it out. They came up together, so I hope they're able to fix their differences. Yeah, they're very instrumental yeah, and also for saw, each other's success. Yeah, and I also saw Offset saying how he just, you know, he just he wants to grow. He wants to grow as an artist. You know what I mean? So sometimes, you know, the the business may prevent you from from doing that outside of what you originally signed. So, like I said, I just hope they both resolve it all amicably. Yeah, I mean, I think about like with Wu Tang as a group, they were signed to Loud Records, but then each of them went and got their solo deals at different places. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, now Nick Cannon has his 10th child on the way. I thought he was stopping. And that's his third child with Brittany Bell. So he revealed that. He said time stopped and this happened. And then there's a video of them having a maternity shoot. She looks to be several months pregnant. Um, And yes, again, that's their third child together. They welcomed their son Golden in 2017 and Powerful Queen in 2020. Okay. Well, Nick Cannon, Nick Cannon, drop one of the clues bonds for Nick Cannon. He is now tied with Eddie Murphy uh, with 10 kids. Will he go for 11, people? There might be Look, another yeah, one on the way. A, a, a cool already. dozen. I'm <laughs> sure. By the way, I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure it is. This is. You might as well just paste, copy and paste this headline for the rest of the time you're on Breakfast Club and when you start your new show, Ye. Nick Cannon is expecting a baby. How many times have you said that in the past year? A lot. At least seven in the last time of the Breakfast Club. At least seven, eight. Remember he was celibate for like a month? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nobody believed that. Selling a bit of what? <laughs> Selling a bit of sperm for people whose sperm don't work? Please. Oh, all right. Vanessa Bryant, a federal jury awarded her $16 million in a lawsuit against L.A. County over the alleged distribution of photos from the crash site where Kobe Bryant and their daughter Gianna died. Another plaintiff, Chris Chester, was awarded $15 million in that same lawsuit. That is for emotional distress, future suffering, and past suffering and all of that. So Vanessa Bryant did cry with her hands in a prayer position as the verdict was read, and she left afterwards. She did not, she did not talk to reporters, and the jury reportedly deliberated for only a few hours after 10 days of testimony. So part of the uh, payments was, uh, you know, you cannot share pictures of deceased people. And so you have to have the sufficient training and policies. The fire department, they said, lacks that sufficient training and, and policies. Mm-mm-mm. And that was on Kobe Bryant yeah, day, too, right? 824. 
Yeah, so I'm just happy that she was able to uh, go to court and, and get the money. Obviously, it's still traumatizing for her. Absolutely. But at least she yeah, came man. out. 16, yeah, man. $16 million is cool, but it's not enough. No amount of money is going to be enough, but they should have did something like, you know, give her, you know, tw- uh, 81 million for the 81 points she scored or something crazy. Like, 16 million is not enough. Not for that, what, what she had to go through. Can you right. imagine that? That's the no. last thing you would want to see when you're already traumatized. And you, oh my God, I don't even want to think about it. God bless that family. Yeah, and, and the conversations Ryan, that they were having, so insensitive. Like, how dare yeah. you do that? These are people's lives and family members that have to see this and hear this. And, and you a different level of groupie. You know what type of groupie you are to be doing that? Like, you, you're only showing those off because it's the remains of Kobe Bryant and uh, his daughter. Like, that's the only reason. Like, that's, that's corny. Corny's an understatement. All right. Well, that is your ass kick. rumor report. All right. Well, we got front page news next. What are we talking about? Yes. And let's talk about restrictive state abortion laws. They're trigger laws that are set to take effect this week that is going to put access to abortion further out of the reach for millions of women. All right. We'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning. 